Hi everyone, today let's take a closer look at how to map a squirrel lash set. To begin with, make a mark on the inner and outer corners, so we're marking the first lash and the last lash, and then mark in the middle by getting our client to look first one way, and then the other way, where their eye comes to rest, is the middle, so make a mark from that point. And now we're working towards the outer corner of the eye, so we want to make a line that follows the brow arch. Just cut this part into two equal sections, drawing a line out from that point, and then to the middle is the longest section of the lashes. So we'll go with 11s here, and then work towards the outer corners where we're going to separate into two halves, and then again into two halves each. So we have nice even sections for our 10, for our nine, for eight, and lastly for seven. Now working inwards, again, we're going to drop down the lengths by separating out into quite even sections, just so that we get a nice kind of sweep. So down to 10, and then through nine, eight, seven and then all the way down to six in that inner corner just to protect those shorter lashes in there now who is a squirrel set good for well, because it follows the natural brow arch it's good for pretty much any client if someone has a proportional set of eyes it's definitely going to suit them Proportional is just referring to the distance between the eyes being the same width as the eye itself. So with the set following that natural line of the brow and the natural growth of the lashes, it will suit anyone. So let's have a little look at what kind of top lines we can create just by changing the order of where we put lashes. First of all, with that really even top line that's characteristic of a Russian volume set, we're going to put our longest length on the bottom layer. On the middle layer, we will drop down one millimeter. And then on the top layer, we'll drop down one millimeter again. So this means when the client opens their eyes, they have this even top line with lots of density throughout. Next, we'll have a look at just a natural top line, nothing too spiky, nothing super manicured. So to do this, we will just apply the same length of lashes to every layer. So when the client opens their eyes, there's a little bit of difference between the layers and a little bit of texture, but nothing too wild. Lastly, we'll reverse what we did the first time. So to create a really wispy top line, we'll put our shortest length on the bottom layer our middle length on the middle layer and a longer length on the very top layer so that when the client opens their eyes they've got this really texturized top line and lots of density right near the eyelid so a bit of an eyeliner effect and then lots and lots of fluff and wisp and spikes thanks so much for watching take care of yourself and i'll see you again soon